identify non-essentials in church. Kailangan ma-identify yan para masala, ma-minimize, if not totally matanggal, so we can focus on what is essential. So we can focus on Jesusness. And Jesusness is all about love. Eh kung minsan naging sobrang complex na yung administration, yung governance ng isang church, na napaka-unloving na sa pag implement ng mga policy na inimbento lang naman nila, so wala na yung love, wala na yung Jesusness, wala na yung essential. We become majors of minors and we forget what is truly major, Jesusness and love. So what is needed by the listener? Sabi ni Jesus, pag may listener, may teacher, at ang itinuturo ay siya, ay may church. What is essential? Ears that listen. Ears that can listen. Dapat hindi na didistract. Time and space to listen. At alalahan din natin ang istorya ni Maria at ni Martha. Ito yun. Maria had ears that listen and can listen. She had time and space to listen. And she had the opportunity to listen because Jesus was there. And for a while, she had freedom from distraction, from worry, from non-essentials, until, of course, the sister came in and demanded that she be brought to the kitchen. But of course, Jesus did not allow it. We know the story. The many worries and cares, the many non-essentials that prevent listening, that distract from listening, production work, yung Martanes. In Martha's house, anong nakaabala? sa pakikinig at pag-aaral, food preparation, food service, hospitality, facilities, and in today's church, hanapin natin yung mga equivalent ng Martha Ness. Ano ang mga abala? Venue. Kumisan yung venue is a big issue. Mahirap puntahan. Minsan ay mahirap na magkaroon ng meeting sa ganong lugar. Maraming abala, maraming gulo. Kaya nga sa Matthew 18.20, sinabi ni Jesus at uulitin natin, Yes, if two or three people are together believing in me, I am there with them. Kung may dalawa o tatlong tao nagtitipon, naniniwala sa akin, pinag-aaralan ako, itinuturo ako, e di nandun ako, therefore may kumpletong church. Yan man ay face-to-face -face and or online or in any other way. Can you imagine how exciting it is? Na nung araw, sa context nila, for two to three people to gather, they have to be in the same place at the same time. Pero ngayon, salamat sa technology, which of, of course obviously comes from God, because knowledge and science comes from God. Kahit na nandun ka sa Antarctica, at kahit na sa Africa yung isa, at kahit na nasa Europe yung isa, o nasa Pilipinas, because of technology, pwedeng magkasama-sama. Ang fellowship was redefined and reinvented. Hindi na tayo limited na lang ngayon to face-to-face, in-person togetherness because we can be together in spirit through the internet, through online fellowship, learning, and gathering. John 4, 21-24 Jesus said, The time is coming when you will not have to be in Jerusalem or on this mountain to worship the Father. When the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. In fact, that time is now here. And these are the kind of people the Father wants to be his worshipers. God is spirit, so the people who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. And in context, the Samaritan woman was insisting that the true place of worship was her hometown, Mount Gershem. Samantalang ito yung kontra sa pangininiwala at sa turo ng mga Hudyo that the true place of worship was Jerusalem. So, dalawang magkakompetensyang lugar ito kung saan ang true worship, kung saan matatagpuan talaga ang Ama. At sabi ni Jesus, Darating ang panahon na hindi mo na kailangang pumunta sa Jerusalem para mag-worship at hindi rin kailangan magpunta dito sa Mount Gershem para mag-worship. In fact, dumating na ang panahon na yon, sabi ni Jesus. And that was 2,000 years ago. 
dumating na na ang tunay na mga mana ng palataya ay sasamba sa Ama, sa Espiritu at sa Katotohanan. Siyempre, masalimut ang tunay na kahulugan ng Espiritu at Katotohanan. Pero no matter how you define it, ang ibig sabihin nun, one of the meanings of that is that yung pag-worship na magugustuhan ng Ama, na darating at in fact ay dumating na, ay hindi katulad ng traditional worship sa Jerusalem, hindi katulad ng traditional worship sa Mount Gershim, or anywhere else. Ito ay kakaibang worship, kaya tinawag niya in spirit and in truth. And we find a glimpse into the meaning of worship in spirit and truth as helped by technology now, that we can worship in spirit and truth even though we are at different places, at different time zones, through the internet, through online fellowship, gathering, worship, and study. Transcendent, hindi limited to time and place. Kaya pwede mong matawag na very spiritual kasi very transcendent. We are not limiting the meaning of spirit and truth to that. But we are saying this could be one of the most fascinating meanings of worshiping in spirit and truth. Worshiping online. Fellowshipping online together with people in many different time zones, in many different areas, all worshiping the same God. So not on Mount Gershim, not in Jerusalem. You know, ibig sabihin ng worshiping in spirit and truth. Ibig sabihin, not necessarily in traditional places, not necessarily in temples, in church buildings, not necessarily in traditional ways, in traditional systems, kakaiba, lampas sa mga limitasyon na isinet ng tradisyon. Worshipping anywhere, everywhere, in spirit, in transcendent ways. What were the many worries and cares, non-essentials that prevent listening, that distract from listening? As we have said, production work. In Martha's house, it was food preparation and service, hospitality, facilities, and in today's church, one is venue. Kasama na dyan ang equipment and instruments. Para bang hindi na makaka-worship kung walang magandang organ, walang magandang piano, walang mga instruments, hindi ba talaga pwedeng acapella, hindi ba pwedeng sumabay sa recorded na tugtog, napakaraming naging mga non-essentials or napakaraming non-essentials na naituring na parang essential. Nagiging abala tuloy tulad ng program, ng hospitality, personnel, mga assignment ng mga tao, kutakot-takot ng mga payable sa mga churches, issues of transport, of mobility, Mga legalities, papers, mga registration, pagsasama-sama at paghihiwa-hiwalay. And one very important non-essential that has been mistaken for essential, restrictive theology and tradition. At kung ano-ano pa, etc., etc. How can today's church focus on what is truly needful? Like the lesson on Jesusness. Like the needful learning. The answer? Simplify. Day by day, after 37 years, simplify. Mga iba-iba mga kongregasyon, mga pag-aaral, mga churches, simplify. The church of Jesus was simple until it got complicated because of 2,000 years of history ng pakikialam at pagmamagaling ng napakaraming tao. Simplify. Simplify size of congregation. Pag napakarami na, like what we are doing now sa so day by day, we are decentralizing, we are devolving into some bahays. Ang pagkalaki-laki nating central congregation na napaka-mega church ay atin na ngayong sinimulang paliitin. We multiply the one mega church into many smaller spiritual families, smaller congregations, smaller sambahays, para mas maganda ang samahan, mas magkakakilala, mas magkakapalagay ang loob, at mas madaling humanap ng venue, mas madaling mag-meet, mas madaling lumakad, maglakaran, mas madaling mag-mobilize, kasi hindi sobrang dami. Kasi kahit naman napakalaki ng church, Pag dumating doon, magtitipon-tipon din sa isang specific sulok yung mga talaga magkaka-vibes, 
magkakakilala, magkakapalagay ang loob. Kaya meron na rin silang small church within the church. So why not make that small church the church? The sambahay. Maraming maraming sambahay. Mas mainam, mas madaling i-manage, mas maganda ang mga samahan kesa isang malaking mega church. Kaya ang ating sambahay is the church in your home. The church in your home anywhere. Kasi may sambahay tayong face-to-face -face or in-person at may sambahay tayong online. Kaya kung misan, member ng isang sambahay na very good ang samahan, malalapit ang kanilang pagmamahalan, pero nasa iba't ibang bansa at continents. Iyan ang ginagawa ng Espiritu ng Diyos that sets us free from the limitations of time and space. Salamat sa technology. So isa pang issue ay venue. Kaya ang sagot din natin, sambahay.